Hello? Okay, there we go. My mic wasn't picking up. I just wanted to say something real quick. I'm sorry in advance. I meant to keep that playing for longer, but I forgot. I was playing that through Discord. I was moving through Discord. So I'll just put something else on. That's better. When I hear this song, all I think about is like that one episode of Spongebob with the uh, Kelpie G. Like that's a song I think he'd play. Oh yeah. Oh my god, Maddie. You just scared me. <laughs> I forget mods have- no? <laughs> I have streamer mode enabled. It doesn't give me the little da dong for someone joining. Uh -huh. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a second. I'm like still setting up. I like how my reason for not streaming is just me having too much fun in Sonic Frontiers and I was just like, <laughs> I played that game for like almost hours on end. It is just that good of a game. I am so looking forward to playing Frontiers, it looks so good. It is really fun. I've also been meaning to play Rayman in a while. This is like... Like, uh... Okay, I think I'm ready to set, start now. Let me just go to scene. There. Okay. I just want to say real quick that... Rayman is one of my childhood games. And uh, playing that game as a child, not fun at all, because no, Rayman is notorious for being a uh, not fun game, which is generally shit, but in a good way. So that's why I'm playing Redemption, which makes it much easier and not a BS. Because if I were to stream Rayman or play it, I'd rather play the remake than the original. I have my standards. Let me go into the options though. Full screen off, resolution. Here's some weird resolutions, but uh, whatever. Good 
bits? Okay. And for you, Maddie, I will stream it for you. Gaming. Alright. I'm actually excited for this. Finally, a balanced version of my favorite childhood game that I remember nothing about. Yeah, check the uh, audio too. Audio looks good, okay. Oh. Real quick before I start though, um, I have a story about this game as well. Not Redemption, but Rayman again. Uh, I bought the uh, iOS version of Rayman before they took it off the stores. <laughs> and uh, this is when I was in middle school and I would play the game during class when we could have our phones out. And let me tell you, I'm playing Rayman in like school and like screaming your head off, just getting raged because of that one fucking music level with the horns. It's not fun. Oh, well. <laughs> I had to leave the class. Oh yeah, I played the Redemption like two years ago. Not anymore. When I'm stashing the big powers of rig, checkpoints are gone. Blech. Blech. Classic mode lives are limited and you can get a game over. Casual mode you have infinite lives and can't get a game over. I'm just trying to choose grant teens instead of lives. Hmm. I like to suffer. No. Let me tell you the story of Rayman. I always love the intro for Rayman. World, nature and people live together in peace. This is literally just like, oh, this is Babby game. My parents got me this Babby game for me. I can't wait to have fun. I forgot Rayman 1 had voice acting. Yeah. I mean, Rayman 2 had voice acting. One fateful day, the evil Mr. Dark. Oh yeah, this isn't animated because for some reason. Troublesome, isn't it? And untidy too. In this now one Oh, I think it's lagging because I tabbed out. Shit. Freaks and hostile characters appear, capturing every electron they can find. They definitely need a hero to save them now! Don't you think? Pray man to the rescue! Ooh, I feel bad tapping up. I just want to check out Go and free the, the audio. Rayman, and bring back the great protoon from its mysterious kidnapper. See, this game tricks you. It, it just it shows you this cutesy intro and all this other like cute crap and then it just throws a curveball at you it's just like no nuh-uh fuck you so i'm scared if i can even beat this game raymond no way he's in boxes oh yeah i forgot redemption gives you all the uh, power-ups already which is very nice. Also, hello, PK. <laughs> I forgot yet! I forgot, okay, in the original, you couldn't punch, you couldn't do this. All you could do was jump and do this. Until you get the actual punch power up. You had to, you had to nice. get the power up to ledge grab. This actually has a function. It just scares enemies. I've never beaten this game, by the way. This game was too hard for me as a kid, so I'm hoping Redemption makes it a little easier.
Another thing that I see this game being praised for is the soundtrack, and I do love the Rayman soundtrack. I fucking forgot about the little hidden areas where you have to find... I hate that. I hate that so much. So, in Rayman, there's these little hidden areas that you can't find. Like, uh... Think of, like, where that yellow butterfly is. Where it's flying. Imagine, like, a spot. An invisible spot that you have to touch that you can't see, and it just spawns something. It spawns, like, the cages needed and all this other crap. Yeah. <laughs> it's... Yeah, he's annoying. But I think everyone gets the gist of Rayman, though. I think it is the best thing ever that they put the prototype 2D Rayman 2 in the final game as a bonus. Yeah, but that's only in the PS1 version. Which is, I heard, True. the worst version. I've thought about streaming Rayman 2 if I beat this game. I just don't know, like... Uh... What version? Because there's so many. There's the 3DS version, there's the DS version, there's the mobile version, there's um, a Revolution, there's the Dreamcast version, the PS1 version, the uh, N64 version. They, they ported that game a lot. Does this work on these? No. Yeah, I just felt like playing Rayman because I've been seeing a, a lot of videos in my recommendations on YouTube of uh, Rayman 4 videos. And it just makes me sad. It's like, man, I love this. I love this series, but I haven't even beaten the first, second, or third game. Yeah, I probably need to come back to the level after I unlock those. I was also playing Splatoon earlier while uh, Broadcast was streaming, and um, it really, I really do feel like when a Splatfest happens, it is like, uh, can I just, please, when a Splatfest happens, people just bring out their most toxic selves in that game. Yeah. Like, I've had matches with arrow sprays and, like, also hello swing, and just... The, like, two arrow sprays on the other defense, like, other person's team. Then you have, like... Yeah! <laughs> no- Oh yeah! PK! We were fighting another team, and they had two Tenta missiles and two Stampers. Or, like, the, the Hammers, whatever. I think they're called the Stampers, whatever. And it was just like, we won though! We won! And it felt so satisfying! I was just like, I, I literally gave the middle finger because I was just like, fuck this. Fuck you. If you're using two Tenta missiles and two hammers, I am gonna just flip you off because you are literally the no fun allowed person. I love the Raymanda soundtrack. Ah, oh, shit. I forgot. Well, just jump is easy to counter. That's why it felt really good killing one of them with my umbrella. Like, uh, 30 seconds into the match. Or, uh, left on the match.
But yeah, I just played a few rounds, lost like a few toxic battles, and I was like, I'm just gonna relax. Rayman, Rayman, okay, listen, I've been thinking about this too, but like, a lot of first time IP games always had like weird prototypes, and that's what I like. Rayman is fucked up. Started out as a SNES game, and then it went to the Sega. S then it went, no, it went to the Atari Jaguar, then Sega Saturn, and then people only remember the PS1 version. No one remembers the Sega Saturn version or Atari Jaguar because who would? Those those were uh, s s consoles. I'm saying they were good consoles. Yeah, I should probably do this. I also like Rayman's design. It's just a really good design for a character. It's also a really good way of showing off, like, uh... You know, early games back then with the sprites. Because this guy is literally just a bunch of segmented sprites just put together. It's really cool. By the way, 200% this game and actually get the true ending, you have to get all the uh, lectoons. Which is gonna suck. I do like in Rayman that the Lectunes, like, were replaced with Teen Season 2. I kind of like Teen Season more as a character to save because they have their little funny dance. Hello, Stirring Wolf. Speaking- oh, speaking of Hoodlum Havoc, I like how, um, I was watching Rayman videos on YouTube, which is how I got here in the first place, and the, apparently the Rayman 3 on GBA is like a prequel to Rayman 3, Hoodlum Havoc or whatever, and then there's an actual Rayman 3 Hoodlum Havoc on the GBA that's a sequel to Rayman 3, I think, and I'm just like, how do you- OW NO! It's just funny. The console room through is right around the corner. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I see that now. That's what I should have done. I thought that was the Rayman 3 ad with the urinals. Was it? Yeah, it was the Rayman 3 ad, I think. Why did they want to show off Rayman packing uh, something down there? I wonder if Slash when they will make another one. There's Origins, then Legends. I know there was a weird mobile game. Yeah, there, there's a few mo weird mobile games. There was Fiesta Run, then there was a Jungle Run, I think. Oh, thank God the Electoons Cage is save even after a death. That's good. Then there's Rayman Mini, Rayman Adventures, which are all just auto runners. That I heard were actually good, but they were just all mobile games. Rayman is weird. Oh! 
Hey, Batilla. Woman. You don't look as sexy as you do in Origins. Where are your tits? This is the ideal female body. <laughs> Yeah, I really find it funny that in Origins, they really, like, made- they, like, they- mm, they added breasts to, like, a lot of characters. Yeah, the new designs are. Yeah. P Patella oh. is a PK character when I look at her. But yeah, the Redemption adds, like, more stuff for you to do and unlock in different boss battles. Yeah, even this boss wasn't here in the original. I was gonna say. Oh. This guy doesn't look familiar. Oh, oh. Little fucker. He is a little fucker. I love him though. Dodging him is kind of hard. I feel like the Rain Man stage completion noise is the, like, best complete, uh, stage completion noise that there is yeah. in a game. Oh, my brain. I can't think of good words sometimes. Same. I feel like I've heard that name before, uh, Sling. Who else did he voice? Hit this! Oh my God! Fitting, fitting. Now, which glow box is this? Is this uh, Revolution or the uh, PS2 version of Rayman 2? Or where's the where's this come from? <laughs> it was Luigi in the Mario movie. Rayman 3 glow box. Uh, I've never played Rayman 3. I own a copy of Rayman 3 for Xbox, but it doesn't work on Xbox 360. And also my Xbox just had like, it in my original Xbox just like died and we just like threw it out. This is when I was really young, so I didn't know how to fix it or anything like that. I would love to play it. You think uh, Microsoft added Rayman 3 to the backwards compatibility shit? Maybe. The distant monkey noises. Why are they not following him? Oh wait. Different enemy that can do that. I remember my first time playing Rayman 2 was the 3DS version, and I got it for Christmas, and I was like, this game really sucks because the 3DS port was not fun, it's on a tiny screen, you don't have much controls, and uh, I just didn't have fun with it, so I returned it. Yeah! I love how they ported that game a million times and pretended it was a different game every time. <laughs> You're right, because it was called Rayman 3D. Then it was called Rayman DS. Were they not fulfilled? Were they not satisfied? Ow. I wish everything had backwards compatibility, it's cool. I'm just gonna check something. Okay. Damn, Rayman, look at you go. Honestly, Rayman music is like good music to have as BRB music or setting up music. Bye. Yeah. Typo. <laughs> So 
the sound of baguettes. This is what a uh, this is what peak male, uh, French male uh, physique looks like. You don't know this, but um, under each uh, Frenchman's uh, shirt is uh, there's actually no arms or legs or neck. Why do you think they all wear long sleeves? Even though I have never seen a, a single <laughs> French person. BRB getting like popcorn or something. Alright. Oh yeah, speaking of, I have me a cup of pumpkin spice uh, or mug of pumpkin spice hot cocoa. Something I read that is breasts. I'm, I, I'm imagining that they just pull it out of their shirt, they put it on their hair, and they start helicoptering away. Any twirlers? <laughs> I didn't think about that. This guy reminds me of the Mr. Mosquito game. Of course there's a PS2 game with helicopter titties. PS2 is, is a platform for any kind of game, if you think about it. Maybe, of course it's made by Treasure. now. Oh yeah, I should probably talk about uh, why I haven't been streaming much. Uh, Sonic Frontiers. I put like th this whole week into playing Sonic Frontiers. I was too busy looking above. And uh, I beat it recently and it has been, it is a really good game. Of course, it's not perfect, it's not uh, 10 out of 10, but it's pretty good. Give my good side. I'm not gonna say any Sonic Frontier spoilers either. I'm just gonna say that it is just a really, really good game. And if you have a Switch or any console that can play it, do please and play it. Like, do try and play it. If you can. Oh, I can just hold it. I hope you enjoy uh, hearing this noise. Honestly, I thought the Switch version would just be, like, really bad running. Increase your base health by one. Oh, hell yeah. Hell yeah, I better break some cages. Surprisingly good. That's good to hear, honestly. This guy freaked me out as a kid. I was like, what the fuck are you? Who are you? guy literally had like a uh... I forgot how I plant the seeds. 
I should have read what he said. <laughs> it wasn't in any sound. I should have read what he said. Shit. Uh, gamepad setup. Action. B. Wow, I just had to stand still. I was still. The one with the caveman. Yeah, I, I already. We missed the edit and any sound effect. I'm still fucked up over that Sonic 3 mod that Brawl played. Yeah. God. Dork. Dork. Man, they made this really easy. Oh yeah, the fandom after, after forces was just not fun. Now I can hear the fandom be uh, separate about both games. Or be separate on both terms. Yeah! Uh, me too, I feel PK. like that's a universal fucking hilarious thing you could do to any game. What do you mean? Ed. Uh... Let me just get up here real quick. Yeah, it, it, it's good to be a Sonic fan. Ooh. Fuck all those dark tunes. By the way, I like Rayman as a platformer because he is really good at control in this game. Just, you, you can stop on a dime. Just like Sonic in Frontiers, which really pissed me off. I really didn't like how Sonic just moved sometimes. It felt weird. Oh yeah, I was supposed to know that we're you get to go there to spawn that cage, that's cool. I love the monkey screams, like, as the atmospheric choice here. Sounds like a Zack monkey scream. I still had the seats for a second. I have no idea what those do. I, I don't know, but honestly, plum the plums in this game look delectable. Very yummy. I bet if I took a bite out of one, it'd just be really juicy. And it just like get all over my shirt, like the plum juice. This is because like imagine the plum bounces, it's like fireworks sounds. Oh, it kinda is. I like that. They probably got it from I feel like most of these sounds just come from a disc that they got. Hey. I'm glad that breaking the cage doesn't stop the game and it just has a little counter on the bottom, right? I don't like yeah. you. I 
missing a plum? Oh. Oh. oh, oh. Honestly, that is a good question. Are you kidding me? I hate those Goombas. They look like Goombas, but with the body. Honestly, they look like a better representation of what the Mario movie Goombas, like from the Mario movie from the 90s, would look like in a video game. I mean, look at them. They have the suit, they have the body, they got the head. Be, probably be revisiting levels to get all the other electoons. But there is things that you can buy in the shop that will show you where the electoons are, like the cages and what you need to do. So that's good. Makes the game much more tolerable. that they're taking down like Rayman Legends and Origins and Raving Rabbits from Steam. I heard that somewhere or no 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 it's the online uh online for those games that they're taking the down. Oh. Uh, yes yeah, the online. If I'm correct it is the online hopefully it is the online because that would suck if it is the actual games. It also means that some achievements in Origins or Legends will probably be untamable. Ooh, I'm gonna give you motion sickness! That's mean. I love it. I love every video game that is literally just a sing single player game just tied to online achievements. I love it. Everything needs to be online. Yay, I love industry. Guys, we gotta stop making single player games. The on multiplayer online experience is where it's at. What do you mean it'll cost us extra to, you know, keep up servers and all this other crap? What do you mean our game ship? Because it's mostly dedicated to online multiplayer players. This is why I only play indie games. Ha 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 ha. This is also why I only play Nintendo games, but this is also they're also becoming that kind of thing of like 
release game, then wait for update later on for full game. So it's still technically tied to online. I'm still the mad about. Out. Then a year later, the game comes out, but actually. That's why I really don't like uh, the new Animal Crossing. It just. That just soured my mood of ever playing it. Jeffrey, come back! I need to touch you! that yeah it got fun and then boring which is sad a sad truth and me too PK like I enjoyed all the like custom-made creating creations what the fuck are you? Oh! Dude, put that away! There are like children here! Creature. Yeah, as I was saying, uh, me sad, Animal Crossing dead. I like Animal Crossing, it's a fun series, but... <clears throat> Sorry, I had to sip some hot chocolate. I always get sad when I leave my town and then there's like this one villager that I really like leaves and just makes me not want to play it. Happy Home Paradise was a smart move for them to keep the game relevant, but also like... Uh, you know, I don't know what else you could do now with it. It, it, the funny thing was, they tried to be like, oh, don't worry, we're, we're adding uh, the holiday updates into the game, and I'm just like, wait, those weren't in the, those weren't in the base game? What do you mean I have to update the game to do the Easter event? Should have been there at the start. Yeah, it's always the last updates when they add something really cool like Mario Maker with their last update. Added like literal worlds that you can make. That was so cool. And then they're like, we're done guys, bye. Like, could you not, could you really not add more to the worlds? Maybe update the worlds more too? What if I like playing Mario Maker 2? I will say Mario Maker 2 is cool because of like all the cool features that they added, but also I just did... I think the only reason I'd go back to it is if like my friends were like, hey, I'm gonna revisit Mario Maker 2 and want to join me with some like uh, shitty multi multiplayer maps and I'm like, hell yeah. That will... That's the only reason why I'd probably come back to playing it.
too. The gamepad was perfect, now you just have to get the switch out of its dock and uh, make the levels be easier. And the thing is, the switch doesn't come with a stylus. And, use, and the thing is, it's not a regular stylus, you have to get one of those like, uh, I'm, those like, weird skin touchy stylists. It's not fun. It's not the same! You do care! I get out of here. Oh yeah, I have a. I forgot I have a run button. <laughs> I forgot I can do that. Though he just speeds up anyway, so it's whatever. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. Okay, don't run. He just he follows you no matter what speed. Nintendo games, I like them. I just don't like how Nintendo hand handles their own games sometimes if it's like connected to online. I hear no one talking about Mario Strikers. I hear no one talking about the golf game, even though it was. I heard some people say it's good. I'm so excited for this character to be in a game that I did I probably didn't even buy. Thank you, Mr. Nintendo. I'm so happy for this one character. Can you give me a reason to play it more? I, I want another punch up from next level games. They did such a good job. They're really good at like handling Nintendo IPs. Yeah! When was the last update? Good question. I don't keep up with it. I like how the boss train is in 4x3. I love that. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Again, I love this soundtrack. September, apparently? Damn. Oh, I, I was looking at chat.
Cool. Uh, yeah, I've heard of it. That's also, again, I've been getting a lot of Rayman videos in my recommendations, and that's one of the videos that got me playing this game. Yeah. We don't like those red mosquitoes, they're yee. Rayman 4, which is going to be the Sonic Frontiers of Rayman, if you think about it. big pumpkin spice person, but this pumpkin spice hot chocolate I have... Really good. Nice. <laughs> yeah! Yes, increase my health. Make game easier for me. Yes, thank you. Yes, this is where everyone stopped playing the game. Because no one Welcome loves them. Yes, the music levels. Question, PK, you you know nothing of Rayman, right? Well, let me just say. This is the part of the game where the game slaps you and, like, puts a middle finger right up your ass saying, Yeah, welcome to hell. This is when the game gets really hard. I like using that metaphor. A middle finger right up your ass. It's not pleasant. Sure, it might be pleasant for some people, but not really if it's a middle finger. Because you know that they're just, like, trying to make you uncomfortable. Dumbass. Oh. Well said. <laughs> I'm imagining like a, I'm at a TED talk, I'm just like, you see, when someone puts a middle finger right up your ass, it, it, it really just like, it, it'll probably make you feel uncomfortable. And that's why I usually say that sometimes. And, and everyone starts getting up and clapping, it's like, he's so right. He's so right. Girl starts shooting world. Uh, this is like, this sounds like a, a South Park like skit. There's probably an episode where Cartman is like in a TED talk and he's just like saying the most profound shit. <laughs> I listened to that for five hours straight. 
The thing is, I just finished my TED talk, so it'd be just like a 30, it would be like a minute long video of me talking about the middle finger going right up your ass, so you'd be listening to a one minute video for five hours. Wait, can I actually hit you? It does nothing. I'm down here. What the fuck was that? I'm fine with that. Spare time, might as well use it to uh, listen to a TED talk by my friend for five hours straight. At least that's dedication and being a good friend. I will say that. These little grasshopper enemies. All they do is jump. We need to get over there. Push them into a little gap. You mean the crickets? Grasshoppers? Whatever. Hmm? Weird. I know nothing about this game. I only know about a few parts of the world. Oh. <laughs> Oh, that's not very nice. Oh, Maybe, maybe they just saw Tails and they're like, I want, we want that with our character. I forget, is this a DCOM thing or is this just a straight up remake? It's a straight up remake. 
nice. That is dedication. This is all Game Maker, by the way. Game Maker is very versatile. It is. Ooh. Probably as a kid, I would have laughed at that and been like, hee hee hee. <laughs> ah, shit. Okay, I fucking love the bosses in Frontiers. They're so good. The music is good, too. It sounds like a pubescent teenage person or like screaming their lungs out. I say that in a good way. Because I love me some stupid music in Sonic games. Titans in the game just remind me of like Gundam anime like stuff honestly yeah! I like the flip he does when you dash jump oh yeah th that was really satisfying to do yeah I hate this part you have to maneuver this uh, maraca head I guess they made it easier. <laughs> I love how each enemy in this game just has like their own personality and noises. I'll say it. Rayman 1 is a R8 game. It just has awful difficulty. Like an awful difficulty curve. But it has a lot of charm and a really good soundtrack. It's mostly gonna be me looking around everywhere I can. Speaking of old platformers and mascot games, you know what game I've always wanted to try? Bug for the Saturn. What's that? A oh, bug? I was like wondering, what, did you just say ugh? But you're- th I forgot that bug is actually a game. Fuck you. Yuki. LMAO. Bug! You know they came out with bug 2, you know? Right? It's real. Actually. Yeah. Bug 2 is a real game. Look it up, I dare you. His name is Boobs, look him up on your school computer. Oh my god, right, I remember. Because they spelled it T-O-O. -O. 
Oh, you can kick! He can move! That dude can kick! Holy crap! I didn't know they could do that! Before I started streaming this game, I kind of just looked at myself on like the games I stream and I'm just like, I really do stream a lot of cutesy platformers and sometimes the weird licensed third party games that I just feel like playing for no reason. Does, this, does that count as being a variety streamer? Or is that just someone that really needs to like explain yeah. their like, okay. You see scrimble platformers are the best. That's true. It's funny how many cute mascot platformer characters Sega made and then just killed. Yep. Like Tempo, for the Sega 32X. Tempo looks like a fun game, that's the thing. Uh, uh, Tempo looks like a game I enjoy a lot, but they just don't. Listen, if it, if that Sega Genesis for the Switch, like, you know, the NSO Online, if they add CD, like Sega CD and 32X uh, support for that, boom, people will be like, that's really smart, that's really cool. I buy that. Oh, yeah. I buy that. Put put Tempo on there. Put Sonic CD. Put N Night Trap. Put all the put all the classics. Put 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 some good shit there. They won't, but it would be cool. They won't, but also, this isn't Nintendo that's doing it. This is also M2, you know, the porting company that's really good at porting True. the arcade classics and all the other crap. Now they're also probably being forced by Sega to be like, no, 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 you got to put these games on. Did they put Rystar yet? I think they did. I just got reminded that there's no fast crawl in this game, and it's gonna suck for, like, one of the bosses in this game. Shit, they have Dynamite Eddy. Ah, uh, I thought about streaming Dynamite Eddy one day. It looks fun. Uh, Gunstar is the run and gun, right? I don't know if a Fantasy Star is also on there. Yeah, okay, cool. Ooh. I want to try Fantasy Star Online and also Fantasy Star because I heard those are good, but also I'm not good at MMOs. I never played one. I played Wizard 101. I had no fun with it. It was cool seeing all the like little characters moving around and shit. Treasure were like the rare for uh, Sega Genesis. They were really good at using the Sega Genesis to their, you know, ability, just making like weird, cool sprites move around and cool soundtracks and just all out cool games. It's a shame that they got Traveler's Tales to uh, do Sonic 3D Blast. I wonder what Sonic 3D Blast or Sonic game would be like if it was handled by Treasure. It 
Though there is uh, Sonic mods or Sonic fan games that have like treasure-esque uh, bosses and stuff like that in their game, which I like. Sonic 3 was almost a 3D game made in-house at Sega, but the... But the... You cut out. Where did I cut out? Uh... Just repeat what you said, I guess. Sonic 3 was almost a 3D game made in-house at Sega, but then McDonald's happened. It's so fucked up that Sonic 3's production was fucked over by McDonald's. Listen, we need to get those toys out right now. Listen, the Dr. Robotnik toy is super cool. You can, you can pull it back and it moves forward! I have that Dr. Robotnik toy, by the way. We need the fucking Knuckles Cloud toy. <laughs> he is pissed. The absurdly rare Sonic Ball. Oh, yeah. I haven't seen that, and I went to a thrift store that's in my town that has, like, uh, this whole section dedicated to the, uh, Sonic McDonald's toys, or uh, McDonald's toys in general and shit. They even- they got- they got Moon Man! They got Mac Tonight! It's really like cool! He the attack that you can't dodge because he just sinks up the lightning and clouds. That's Rayman for you. But yeah, I should go back there because they had like all the Sonic toys and I got me the Dr. Robonic Sonic 3 toy. Sonic LCD games they had. I did, but then I dropped mine on the ground and it immediately broke. I also got that from a thrift store. It was not- it was not part of the, uh... Shadow Basketball, or any of that crap, it was... There's a neat antique store in my town that has a lot of old retro gaming toys and stuff as well as old games. If you ever come out here, I'll take you. Please do. I love seeing retro games. Knuckles Baseball. Cream and Amy Tennis. Nose Cream Puff Flower Catch. Oh, that's cool. Thanks. That's fucking cool. Thanks, game. Sonic Skateboard. I love the commercial from the same guys with Crash and Human Neocortex. <laughs> the thing is, I love that too because they have a they have an R8 Crash model. Then they're just like, uh, like, I don't know. Can we just like use this like model I got off of like uh, this like pirate site I got? <laughs> they just like they increased his head size and it gave him a regular white shirt and he's like, yeah, that's perfect. Bro's Chima Cortex. <laughs> yeah, he doesn't! That That's Cortex's like... Okay, you know how like, um, uh... I forgot the voice actor for Woody in Toy Story. Um... Buh, 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 buh. God, Tom Hanks, yeah. You know how in Tom Hanks, he does when there's like third party stuff that isn't part of the movie that he has that they need voices for, like his voice or whatever? He gets his brother. That's Cortex's brother in the commercial. That's like uh, Dr. Nero Bor Borlix. <laughs> It's yours, my friend. As long as you have enough teens. I don't know what you're saying. I was too busy uh, reading this stinky meme. 
That's the knockoff MR crabs they use for all the games. <laughs> Start the next level with big power ups. There's next level with fully loaded golden fist. Things move forward you when you get close to them. Ooh. Get extra HP from big power ups. Oh, skins! What's this? Skin for checkpoints. Oh, that's cool. Snack. Oh, that's cool. Blue Rayman, Vortex Suit, Lockjaw. Isn't Lockjaw a Rayman character? I forgot. Sounds like one. I wonder if there's eventually a red suit like SNES Rayman. Probably. Lockjaw's a power up from Rayman 3. That's cool. I want to be blue. And then also, uh. Oh, I don't have 1,500. Damn. So there's permanent upgrades. I like that. Um... Here we go. Okay, that's cool. Oh, there's skins for the mosquito too? That's cool. Oh, achievements. Enter code. that cage by the way this is the stage that everyone gave up on okay, how do I actually get there I'll probably learn oh I was away for a minute this yeah fucking stage this fucking stage Ooh. Ooh. This probably isn't the way to get that, but I'm gonna try anyway. It isn't. That's all I needed. The more lives, the better. I'm like in focusing mode now. matters. Yeah! 
Yes! <clears throat> I, was... I just now noticed you aren't blue. Yeah, I have to equip the skin. But I like being original Rayman. I'll equip it when I go on my uh, hunts for the. Uh... I hope you know that I've never done that before in my entire playthrough of this game. I've never done that before, and it just did that. I, I would scream at that part when I played it on the mobile version. Haha. <laughs> I was really expecting funny moments, uh, part five stream fails, but no, that was just like perfect. That's first try. <laughs> Whoop. They don't call it redemption for nothing. True. I just noticed that the word redemption, like in the context of this, is like redeeming the game from its shit difficulty. It's like, yeah, we made the game not shit. It's probably a mode that, like, returns all the, like, crap from the original levels, though. Which is good for people who are like, but I love, I love playing uh, hard games that are unfun. I'd imagine there's an original mode yet. I love being bad at playing video games. Still annoying as hell, though. I will say that. I don't like having fun. I want to be mad at all video games. I want to scream my lugs out and punch my pillow and make another hole in the wall. SpongeBob! Give me a copy, buddy. That thing was killing itself. What the? That was such a weird noise. Do you sound like Aaron right now? <laughs> do I do a good Aaron Hansen impression? Or at least you did. Wait a minute, what's over here? Nothing. Nothing. Oh my god, I made it. You tricked me. You swindled me. PK, uh, uh, how is, uh, how, are you still playing Splatoon? I wanted, I wanted to know what the, uh, current standings are for the Splatfest. Frontiers, oh. Oh yeah, you said that earlier. I feel like... I really do feel like streamer brain is an actual thing because I I forget like what people say sometimes when I'm playing a game. I guess it's because I'm mostly just used to like playing a game solo a lot that it's hard for me to like listen to what other people are saying. No.
I also feel bad that I kept saying I'd stream uh, Frontiers, but then played it on my own. But the thing is with me is that, um, this is fucking Sonic. Of course, it, it, I wanted to beat it before I get spoiled on it because, like, I'm a Sonic fan. Being a Sonic fan is hard when, like, half of the community can easily spoil it for you because they're just like, oh, it's been two days. Must be, must mean everyone beating the game. Time to go I on Twitter. Watch anyway. I haven't played it yet. Haha. -ha yet. Yeah. I wouldn't mind doing a stream of Frontiers like late next year, or the year after, after like it's cooled down. Because if I were to do that, I'd be doing it with mods and also on hard mode. <clears throat> Just install those physics mods, baby. Yeah. I think it's a genius idea that instead of making ice worlds, they just made a music world with slippery platforms that are reminiscent of the, the music lines in the uh, sheet music. As a, like I was saying... Can I kill you? I can't kill you! What? what? Did I just change... what? Okay, when I hit these things, the only noise I can hear from them is... Uh? Gender change punch. That's what I was gonna say! <laughs> It's like, no, you can't hit me, I'm a woman. <laughs> it's like, no, uh. Also, god damn, this jazz music. Now it's over. This game's music is atmospheric. I like that. I don't mind it too. You have like some good jazzy, real good music moments, then you have atmospheric. Changes the pace sometimes. You expect me to get over there? Oh. Back to jazz. Must acquire a taste for freeform jazz. I kind of want to make that an edit. worth it. Sell so my money in blue tings. What's even here? Oh. Okay. 
goody. He took two hits and he's like, I'm out of here. He left the stove on. Hmm. Oh, I like this visual gag. The drums like giving him eyes. This game is really weird sometimes. In a good way. This would be just like a chill game to play. I mean, kind of feels like those like chill hangout kind of games. Until like I get later on in the game where I start screaming. playing Rayman Jr. Why not? Uh, I don't know. I don't like math. scared that I'm not gonna be able to get the dab in Splatoon 3. I, I, I've, I've like dedicated so much time to Frontiers that I forgot my main focus was getting the dab in Splatoon 3. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. Oh yeah, I should say something, uh, talk about something real quick. <laughs> I had a dream, uh, a few, I think last week, where I dreamed that I was streaming and it was like, it was like an awful stream. It was just like, really bad. I don't even remember what game I was playing, I just remember like it being a really bad stream. I wasn't having fun, chat wasn't having fun. And then, later on, I realized that after I ended the stream, I look at my mic and the mic was off and I'm just like, oh no, how long has it been off? And I checked the stream pod and it's just like, I was muted the entire time. It was an awful dream. I've never had a stream dream, I think, before. But like, God, that was awful. 
It would have been worse if it was like a good stream and then it, people were enjoying themselves. Meanwhile, I, was, I wasn't even talking. That's a horrible fear that I have though, is like muting myself and like I don't have many viewers. I don't have a lot of chat people, so it's gonna so it'd be really hard to like see if anyone's just like, are you a silent streamer or is it like you're muted? And I'd be like it'd be like 30 minutes in and I'd be like, oh my god. something down there. Yeah. This is kind of terrifying. I did it though. Or did I? Oh, there's more over there. I know what I must do. Oh! Hell. <laughs> oh, damn. Okay. This is like that much. Yeah, this is a nice level. Mm. Maybe I should have done it like that where I do it from the back. Yeah, I'm gonna do it like that. He celebrate. He celebrates himself. Mm. No! Get out of my way! Get out of my way! I need it! That dude looks like a chowder character. Looks like if the uh, pet part that uh, Chowder has was like, uh, you know, pure. Actually, no. It looks like an Aqua Team Hunger Force character. Things spawning in this game is a dick move. <laughs> it is, but that's Rayman for you. Ooh. What? <laughs> 
Warp dot wave. I hope you all are enjoying yourselves. Ow. I was afraid that I just get hit once and I die. I just remember something that, uh, is like funny Rayman, uh, did you know gaming shit? Uh, does anyone know about the Rayman cartoon? Yeah! It had like three episodes. Right. Remember when that he was voiced by Tom Kenny? Just sounds like a like a Brooklyn like fry, but like more Brooklyn fry from Futurama. supposed to go not this way I don't blame you, uh, Sling. It's a good- it's a good reason to, uh, use your Switch more. I just use my Switch for, like, uh, the exclusives.
Holy shit. That's fair. What if your uh, Nintendo Switch account got hijacked? Mini. I'm so freaking slow. Yeah, it's on the save console, but it's also it can be on the cloud. Oh wait, that's uh, if you have Nintendo Switch Online. I do want to use my Switch more because Splatoon and all the other cool games and multiplayer stuff. I'm still kind of sad that they never, like, did an update for Mario Party Superstars. It's such a good game. Updating it more with more minigames and more maps would have been a genius idea. But they never did that. At least we have Mario Party 1, 2, and 3. On NSO. And that works out fine. The lag just makes it more fun, honestly. Because it's a, it's a fun lag where it just affects the game audio and everything. Mario Party Superstars, it's just like, not fun lag, it just freezes the game with no audio glitches. <laughs> I just see that goofy face for a swift second. No. I think Bubsy will ever come back. We got him for we we got him for a few games, and then we never saw him ever again. I think it's better this way. I mean, they tried bringing Bubsy back because meme, probably, I don't know. But like, if, if your meme is being a bad game, then I don't think that's gonna help you make a good game because you also need good developers and also you, that means you have a reputation for bad games. I didn't manage to get two games and they're both shit. His last one was a bit trip runner. Yep. I 
I didn't know it was made by the same guys who made Bitrip Runner. That, uh, that's it. That, I didn't know that at all. I just thought it was a ripoff. Wait, it was hold on. Really? One SEC. It's like I said it was. Unless they're gaslighting me. I'm gonna put it behind them. My god, you're right. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, just the endless runner yet. Yeah, the endless runner. I gotta get out of here. My hot chocolate is now called chocolate. Also, I've been live for almost two hours. What the fuck? It does not feel like two hours have passed. This is one of those games one, where I just one, get one. lost. What? Oh. <laughs> after this stage should be a good stopping point. But man, already two hours of this stream? Damn. This really is one of those like calm kind of games that just you can get lost in, huh? Notice that the gun guys don't have like the uh, bullet that brings out the hammer. Cause like in the original Rayman, they shot bullets out that also had a hammer that like would smack ya. I guess they got rid of it because the hitbox was too big. It's fair, but like I also liked it because it's funny. <laughs> it's like a, it's like a Looney Tunes kind of weapon. You shoot a bullet out, it stops like uh, in front of like uh, uh, Bugs Bunny's face, and then Bugs Bunny like turns it around to Elmer Fudd, it goes into his face, and just pulls out a hammer. Yeah. Oh wait, there's more. I was gonna say that wasn't worth it, but sometimes you have to go to a secret to get the other secret. Yeah. Oh, I see. There we go. Whoa. Yeah. 
have beer luck too, so fuck that up. Ooh, it carried on to the boss fight. I like that. You can't decide between an atmospheric soundtrack or a very, like, jazzy, cool soundtrack. Oh. But for some reason, I imagine the sex being voiced by Weird Al Yankovic. It looked like it would have that kind of voice. Yes. Yeah. Some of the music medallion. New items unlocked in the shop. Yay! What the hell is this? Uh, I'll check that out next time. I want to buy something from the shop real quick. That was a more sure reference. I'd get extra HP from big power-ups, that'd be very useful. Can't afford that though. Alright. So this game saved. Do by Rain Man Games. Do it. Do it now. Well, no. Okay. That was a fun time. That was nice to play Rain Man Game 2. That did not suck balls. Yeah, that was fun. I think I will end the stream here now. Run old redemption. Bye, gamers. Yeah, good good night. I hope you all have a great sleep and a great rest of the night. And um uh again my stream schedule is all weird. I mean, next time I will promise uh uh twenty time zones. Uh next time I do promise Kingdom Hearts. But I just felt like doing Rayman because it'd be fun. But yeah, uh, hope you all have a great night, and uh, sorry, that felt like a relaxing stream, didn't talk much, just kind of like, 
felt a little nice. I don't mind that. Uh, I'm gonna figure out. I think I'm just gonna reheat my hot chocolate and then just like fuck up my sleep schedule some more. So I'll see y'all later. Bye.